M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Thanks to Daniela for sending me this link called UV Mod. So it looks like you import firmware and then you change it. And once you've changed it, you then save it. So let's have a look at some of the modifications here. And interestingly, it does actually include, when it says patch for radios, you can patch for all radios, but it does show a patch for the UV5R, uh, which I've got. And I wasn't sure if, if we could update that. Although, you know, hardware-wise, they look exactly the same radio. UV5, UV6, UV5R look identical to me. So let's have a look at some of these uh, modifications. You've got battery icon, changes the battery icon to a more normal looking variant. LCD contrast, you can change that value. Higher is darker. Uh, you've got the font, there's a futuristic font here, let's just select that one. Uh, we might as well just tick all of these, let's tick all of them. Uh, futuristic font, disable frequency, copy timeout. Be nice to have a screen timeout, I'm not sure if it does that. Disable TX completely, no we don't want that. Double backlight duration, well that sounds good to me. So it takes it from 5 to 10 seconds. Skip boot screen, I'm fine with that. Menu string, changes text in settings. Menu displays, J JSON contains every string. I'm not sure about what that one is. So, uh, increase, oh, there it, see these? I'm not really sure what we do with all that. So, I'll leave that for now. Increase mic gain, negative display. All right, let's try that. Roger B, we don't really want that. Tones, RSSI, selects meter, uses 2250. Um, Let's just try it. Select RSSA graph. Let's just do that. No, it won't let me. Actually, do we tick here? No, it won't. So that one's not done yet. Don't forget, this is, a, you know, I'm always evolving all these firmware patches. They're brilliant. Enable SWD port. If you don't know what SWD is, you don't need this mod. <laughs> you will need to solder wires to the main board and connect them to specialized hardware. So, yeah, wow. Uh, larger frequency will have that frequency steps and then we've got NOAA scan feature is unique because it can scan in the background wow anyway AMRX on all bangs you know good for airplane monitoring so we've done that uh, we're on we're on, we've got the UVK5 at the moment I'll just do that for now patch firmware so I'm guessing that it now patches it once it patches it then you save the firmware, and so it saved it as FW modded bin with a little brackets one. Now, we, if you haven't got the, the update software, you click up here at the top, and the firmware software for updating is there. Not sure I got mine on the, on the device yet, so we just go to downloads, find that. There's the updater, so it's nice, easy. You don't have to find the, the software if you haven't got it. I'm doing this for the first time, that's why you can tell I'm a bit patchy on this. There is Updater, click Yes, Update Tool, Next, I agree, Next, 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 Finish. So we should have the Updater now with a bit of luck. Click here, see if we can find the Updater Tool. Just hold there a minute. Okay, we'll put the radio in firmware mode by turning it off, holding down the PTT and turning it on. The torch will light up. Then we'll double click the update file, which is this one. We need to select the COM port, right click device manager. It's a UV5R cable, by the way. Coming up as 11, then we'll go 11 and connect. Then we need to select that firmware that we just made. Hopefully it's in my download folder, which is the mod number one. And then hit this, see these, this Chinese right in here, hit that. And if it's correct, it will send that to our device, which you can now see it doing. And then we'll have a quick look to see if we can see any changes, but really have a play with this yourself. Thanks, Daniela. She's all, you know, very nice to send me these different programs. And I really do appreciate it. Uh, bit of a learning curve as usual. Look, it have got USB connection here coming soon. Wonder what that is. So it's in there and yeah, it has reversed the screen. So let me just pause and make it bigger. So let's have a, a closer look now. We've got the reverse display. Now if we scroll down my list of changes, 
I think I chose the battery icon, which is bigger. The timeout is lasting 10 seconds now. Nice signal meter there. So yeah, I need to look closer, have a little play, but everything seems fine. Thanks for watching my channel. More later, 7-3. M0FXB Kushang, this is the UVK5. Look, we've managed to reverse the screen here and make several more modifications using the